่นั้นยัสพระบุกังพระบุกับพิารพระบุกับพิารพระบุกับพิารจับเสพพิาระเยซูจับเสพพิาระเยซูเมื่อชีวิตปรายาทุกข์ของเราชีวิตนี้มีการเปลี่ยนแปลงขึ้นมาเรื่อยๆ एक मिनट है प्रभु का प्यार के द्वारा प्रभु यीशु का प्यार प्रभु ने हम सबों को बुलाया है कैसे बुलाया है प्यार से बुलाया है वो प्यार का अनुभव हमारे जीवन पर महसूस होगा ओ सॉरी आई एम स्पीकिंग इन आई एम स्पीक इन इंग्लिश ओके द लॉर्ड हैज कॉल्ड अस विद लव ही अट्रैक्ट्स अस विद लव विद लव ग्रेट लव बिकॉज God is love. <laughs> What is the other name of God? God is love. God is love. God do not want to create love. God Himself is love. Once. I remember a story or a one priest was sharing. He was he's a theologian, so his superior asked him. <laughs> so, as a theologian, he is a professor of theology. He is to go. He is giving theologians teachings in the seminary. But one day. The superior told him to give a short session to the kindergarten children. Kindergarten, <laughs> little children in the kindergarten. <laughs> so she felt a little uh, strange. How he, such a professor of theology, who is so uh, regularly giving teaching to the theologians. Suddenly, how can he give a session to the kindergarten little children about God? <clears throat> so it was—it's not easy. It's not easy. <laughs> Then he he took a he he did a he he got an idea. He got an idea to ask the little children, "What do they think about God? What do they think about God?" So he asked the children, "Children, do you like God? What do you think about God?" Then they started discussing one to another, little bit. Then, after discussion, one child raised hand and said, "So, 
the theologian professor was so curious to know <laughs> suddenly these little children has an answer <laughs> and the, the child says god will be like a big mother teresa <laughs> god will be like a big mother teresa so children know about mother teresa the way mother loved the poorest of the poor mother used to love the people who were lepers who were thrown into the khatters of calcutta with great love she takes a leper believing that is jesus himself even a little child know about mother teresa because the service the ministry what she did was purely a ministry of love love so that has gone into far and wide all over the universe all over the world a ministry evangelization and this child kindergarten child even a kindergarten child knew about it and they say god will be a big mother teresa so that is really although it is not a theological formula <laughs> it is a spiritual reality spiritual reality so we should know who is god to me then only we can evangelize what is my experience with god our experience with god must be first of all this love god is love and god loves everyone not only christians for god there is no partiality whether christian or muslim or sikh or punjabi or parsi or atheist god loves everyone everyone and that love we must experience when we experience that love it has several dimension one dimension is like we learned holy spirit pours out the love of god into our heart the love of god is poured into our heart through holy spirit a word of god i remember now romans chapter <laughs> i got it romans chapter 5 5 now those who have the bible you can open and read those who you can note this number romans 5 5 romans 5 5 and hope does not disappoint because the love of god has been poured out into our hearts through through the holy spirit that has been given to us so holy spirit is already in us particularly for us those who are baptized through baptism confirmation and every day through the holy eucharist in the holy eucharist during the epiclesis we are praying holy spirit come upon us so in various way and through our personal prayer we pray holy spirit fill me with your love fill me with your love now this song i have written prajalit kar mere hriday mein teri prem ki agni jwala so 
those days i had this feeling i may have so many gifts of charisms but without love i am nothing so therefore i need more love of god so every time i used to sing and say come holy spirit and fill my heart come on come holy spirit and fill my heart come on everybody come holy spirit and fill my heart come holy spirit and fill my heart come holy spirit and fill with love come holy spirit and fill with i remember even i used to go to my office all the way i am praying oh holy spirit fill me with your love fill me with your love so it becomes always a chanting for me now later on i learned in pope francis's apostolic letter on saint teres lisio saint teres of lisio she used to pray jesus i love you jesus i love you jesus i love you jesus i love just like breathe just like a breathe <sighs> like this we are breathing you know jesus i love you come on everybody jesus i love you jesus i love you jesus i love you jesus i love you come on everybody jesus i love you jesus i love you jesus i love you jesus i love o francis says the most simplest prayer this is what is written in the biography of saint therese so she used to always pray jesus i love you jesus i love you so we will be filled with the love and we will be attracted to jesus we are drawn to jesus we will become one with jesus so that is the simplest way we have to begin with begin with and when i was praying many years come holy spirit and fill my heart come holy spirit and fill with love then i wrote uh, this this song came this song came prajali dikar mere or otherwise in english or in malayalam that is the meaning and finally i was convinced of saint paul's letter first corinthians first corinthians chapter 13 first corinthians chapter 13 in first corinthians chapter 13 first corinthians chapter 13 says if i speak in human and angelic tongues but do not have love i am a resounding gong or a clashing cymbal and if i have gift a prophecy and comprehend all mysteries and all knowledge if i have all faith so as to move the mountains but do not have love i am i am nothing shall we all read it louder shall we read it louder come on take your bible and take these words read this word number 2 everybody louder and if i have gift of prophecy come on everybody if i have gift of prophecy and comprehend all mysteries and all knowledge if i have all faith so as to move the mountain but do not have love I am nothing. Say louder. I am nothing. If I give away everything I own, 
if i give away everything i own and if i hand my body over so that i may boast if i hand over my body so that i may boast but do not have love i gain nothing so in in the biography of saint therese she said that i may have all the charisms but without love i am nothing therefore i only want love love i want to be love in the heart of the church i want to love everyone i want to attract the people to jesus that is evangelization evangelization means when we love jesus so saint therese says jesus i love you so much draw me draw me <laughs> and then she says see when i when i am drawn to you i have some of my friends you know some of my friends they do not know you shall i bring them with me surely you will love them also <laughs> yes that is evangelization understand so she is the patron saint of evangelization but she did not go to preach with a microphone her way of evangelization is drawing people toward jesus but first she loved jesus she says i love you jesus i love you jesus draw me embrace me hug me i belong to you oh i love you jesus i am a child i cannot do big big things like the many being saints i am a child lift me up and when i come to you i cannot come alone because i have so many people my friends but they do not know you so i want to bring them to you this is the way she used to pray so that is the most simplest understanding of evangelization evangelization is a love story it's a love story of god god become man for what can somebody say what for god became man now i am asking like the theologian asked to the little children why how you know what do you know about god so the same way what do you know why god became man what for at least if anybody know the answer can you raise your hand if anybody have confident to say the answer can you raise your hand you anybody know the answer why god become man if anybody know the answer please raise your hand anybody 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 nobody okay nobody okay no problem we will learn it is very interesting god became man to make man become god <laughs> to make man become god god became man to make man become god <laughs> So everybody God became man to make 
man become god now i have shown you the two candles is there any difference jesus said i am the light of the world and from that light we were given the light so what happened to us we also become like him we also become like him this is the basic thing we must know god became man to make man become god <laughs> now i will give you a teaching see we have not only bible we have another beautiful book this is catechism of catholic church you may have this book in your library in fact i would recommend every one of you must have a personal copy you should have one hand bible other hand the catechism of catholic church now more than 30 years i am working with this mainly two tools the word of god and the teaching of the church teaching of the church now i quote you a teaching referring to what i said now in paragraph 460 you write down these numbers later on when you go home you must find out the catechism of catholic church and read this text 460 460 The word became flesh to make us partakers of divine nature you, you can write down better you write down it's good that you write down CCC CCC means catechism of catholic church CCC number 460 So here it is a teaching from the apostle also from the church fathers and the doctors of the church all combined so the word became flesh to make us partakers of divine nature writing down the word became flesh to make us partakers of divine nature for this is why the word became man and the son of god became son of man so that man by entering into communion with the word and thus receiving divine sonship might become son of god it is a long sentence okay but it is good to write this is why the word became man come on right This is why the word became man This is why the word became man and the son of god became son of man The son of god became son of man Son of god became son of man so that man by entering into communion with the word so that man by entering into communion with the word and thus receiving divine sonship might become son of god might become son of god this is the teaching of a great church father saint irenaeus saint irenaeus and the next is now right for the son of god became man so that we might become god the son of god became son of man so that we might become god saint athanasius a teaching of a great church father saint athanasius 
everybody can you repeat this you please say it louder for the son of god became man come on the son of god became man so that we might become god <laughs> unbelievable unbelievable but that is the truth once again for the son of god became man so that we might become god now next is another great saint and the doctor of the church saint thomas aquinas teaches the only begotten son of god wanting to make us share in his divine divinity assumed our nature so that he made man might make men god once again the only begotten son of god you can write down please write down the only begotten son of god wanting to make us share in his divinity the only begotten son of god wanting to make us share in his divinity assumed our nature so that he made man might make men god he made man might make men gods uh, shaji <coughs> some but now these things are in fact every day in our holy liturgy in our holy qurbana we are actually praying i will show you from the from the holy kurbana where that prayer is so we must recognize first of all who am i i am a child of god you are a child of god when you are a child of god you are also god the most holy trinity dwell in you now in this the prayer after the institution after the institution prayer that is after the ana in the anafara arpan vidhi परम प्रसाद की स्थापना परम प्रसाद की स्थापना वो स्थापना प्रार्थना के बाद हे प्रभु पेज नंबर थर्टी ये किताब में पेज नंबर थर्टी आज बिशप स्वामी आएंगे bishop will be celebrating the holy mass then you then you pay special attention after the institution prayer he prabhu tere aadesh anusar hum bhi tere durbal deen heen sevak tere sanidh mein ekatra hue hain तूने हम पर इतना उपकार किया है जिसकी उचित धन्यवाद देना हमारे लिए असंभव है उतने महान कार्य प्रभु ने हमारे लिए किया है क्या किया है क्या किया है देखिए तेरे ईश्वरीय जीवन में 
हमें सहभागी बनाने के लिए तूने हमारा मानव स्वभाव अपनाया तेरे ईश्वरीय जीवन में सहभागी बनाए टू शेयर इन यूर डिवाइन नेचर यू assumed our human nature prabhu ne unka ishriya jeevan hame dekar hamara durbal sharir unhone apnaya this is the mystery of incarnation tere ishriya jeevan mein हमें सहभागी बनाने के लिए दैट इज वट वी रेड हियर फोर हंड्रेड एंड सिक्सटी फर्स्ट दर्ड बी के इम फ्लैश ऑफ बनाने के लिए तूने हमारा मानव स्वभाव अपनाया तूने हम पतितों का उद्धार किया हम मृतकों को जीवित किया मतलब उलब पाप के द्वारा बिकॉज ऑफ द ओरिजिनल सिन ह्यूमैनिटी लॉस्ट द डिवाइन लाइफ इन द सोल बट जीसस रीगेन दैट मृतकों को जीवन जीवित किया मतलब जो इंसान द द ह्यूमन बीइंग हु सोल वाज डेड इन द डेड सोल गॉड गेव हिज लाइफ एंड रीजेनरेटेड थ्रू द रिसरेक्शन दैट इज द लाइफ जीसस से आई एम योर लाइफ That is what we were lighting the candle. हमारा मृतक अवस्था को उन्होंने जीवित अवस्था बनाया कहा गया हूं अरे या मृतकों को जीवित किया हम पापियों को पवित्र किया हम अपराधियों को मोचित किया तूने हमारे बुद्धि को आलोकित किया हमारा दिमाग दिल बुद्धि आलोकित किया शत्रुओं को पराजित किया और हमारे दुर्बल स्वभाव को अपनी प्रजुर कृपा से अलंकृत किया है तेरे सारे कृपादानों तथा अनुग्रहों से प्रदि हम तुझे वंदना स्तुति कृतज्ञता और आराधना समर्पित करते हैं अब और सदा सर्वदा तो हमें ये समझना चाहिए कि हम लोग बहुत बुराई अवस्था में था we must understand even if we were so sinful people still god loved us this is what we cannot understand we have often doubt will god love us i am a sinner i have lot of bad habits i have lot of unholiness will he love us that is exactly the good news <laughs> good news means that in even if you are a sinner god loves us why jesus samaja good news what is good news good news means roman chapter 5 we already read roman chapter 5 5 5 now we read 5 6 roman chapter 5 6 says in this is the love of god 5 6 that for christ 
while we were still helpless he died at the appointed time for the ungodly indeed only with difficulty does one die for just a person though perhaps for a good person one might even find courage to die but god proves his love say everybody god proves his love for us in that while we were still sinners christ died for us can you believe this can you accept it yeah that is called good news good news but this was not understood by the pharisees the pharisees were very critic he is a sinner we must stone him punish him this is not good news that is not the good news what is our attitude when we see some people doing some naughty thing we we feel uh, he must he must be punished even our own brothers if somebody is doing something bad i will i will i will tell to the director i will tell the director okay you must get a good punishment i will tell the director i will tell the mistress okay you have done something bad i will tell the mistress you must be punished and you tell the mistress and the mistress publicly say see this girl has done something bad now come on to go to go to go you must punish you must say one our father publicly as a punishment so these are all <laughs> what should i say old way of monasticism old monastery nowadays i don't think these are existing i don't know whether you are <laughs> situation in in old time in the monastery there was very strict punishments saint john of the cross saint john of the cross was beaten with a chain and he was thrown into a prison in the monastery but god make everything good <laughs> god makes everything good and john of the cross loved that oh thank you jesus that i received same like people people scourge you scourge you this this is the same way i received thank you thank you now that was john of the cross and then in the dark room he lived many days and he began to receive great revelations great revelations and he wrote the famous poetic uh, classic book called the dark night and ascent to mount carmel all these great works of john of the cross came out because he was thrown into a prison father you can give it now please there are those who don't have notebooks please take it notebook and pen so that you can make a note of what we are see there is also for the girls you can for the candidates please take that notebooks and pen so that please write down these things anybody okay everybody has something to write okay very good so now you leave one or two pages blank which you should take copy of others who have written later on in the lunch time okay you will take the note from the others during the lunch time you must copy it 
and you must continue this and this will be a very important a notebook for you i remember some of the fathers even after when became when they became uh, priest and big preachers they were using the old notebook of my retreat and they have shown me brother thomas paul on so and so year you spoke this this is my note even now i go through that note and reflect so all what you are learning here is something very very precious thing for you so keep this notebook you write down the date and time etc even you can draw my picture <laughs> with color and all what i am speaking the light etc you should you should draw with colors now i have shown you a colorful two candle you must have a colorful two candle in the first page of this book you will write the red color one is jesus and the white color one is you must write your name that is how the retreat opens okay okay now <clears throat> suddenly holy spirit has given us such a strong teaching such a strong teaching but that is because you are specially called by the lord called by the lord and today is the feast of a great young saint you know whose name it is today is the feast of which saint Eh? Who? Katrina of Vienna? Vienna or Siena? <laughs> I am most of the time working in Vienna, so it's a very familiar. So Katrina of Siena. You know she was a 24th somebody say 25th 25th or 24th child in her family <laughs> imagine and even when she was 7 years old she used to get divine divine inspirations and she loved jesus and even at that little childhood she gave her life as a commitment to the lord in perpetual wow and then <laughs> when she was 16 years old her elder sister who was married died so her husband these are in some days it is a practice when one in a house when a woman die and she has little children and her husband is a widower then the family think about making the younger sister marry to that man so everybody felt this girl can be married she said no 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 i don't want to marry i am already married to jesus she has a wedding ring only she can see that <laughs> so they forced her they they strongly recommended they all wanted she married to the elder sisters widower she said no 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 and what she did she immediately cut all her hairs <laughs> and made it very shabby so that she did she should not look beautiful she cut her hair and she already gave herself to the lord and god was speaking to her so her biggest gift was listening to god listening listening to god she was not educated 
she had no formal education she do not know even to write or read but yet the lord was so much blessing her the lord was speaking mysterious things and she tell somebody else to write it down so there is a one and only classic book in her name is called the dialogue please write down you may have it in your monastery in your library in your formation house the dialogue the dialogue it is a very good book to read for all of you if you don't have in your library please ask your master to buy it they will buy it for you and this is a very good way to experience the intimacy with the lord intimacy the intimacy the love and intimacy and she saw uh, she became so popular even god tell her to send a message to the pope <laughs> imagine a girl who had no formal education do not know to write and read but god called her for a mighty evangelization work among the kings and big big people used to come to take advice how she give advice she said wait a minute i will ask the lord hello hello yes my love yes my lord now these people are here with this question what is your opinion they want your wisdom please tell me tell me lord i love you i love you yes ah yes 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 yeah, come on write down write down write down yes now this is what the lord is telling da 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 okay that is the answer to listen these people come from far away <laughs> their problem solved and one day the lord said kadrin you ask your secretary <laughs> to write down yes come on write down yes lord tell holy father pope i tell you which pope it was where is my secretary Okay anyway <laughs> For Gregory 11 she asked pope gregory 11 to return to rome to return to rome this gregory 11 was staying in paris in france pope gregory 11 was living in paris making the papacy in paris one reason is in rome there are persecution Rome was a place from the first century onwards soaked with the blood of the martyrs so the lord sent through catherine a message to pope gregory 11 she wrote oh her holiness the lord say France is not the seat of the pope the pope seat must be rome 
which is soaked with the blood of the martyrs. So you must go to Rome. She sent a message to Pope. And the Pope said, yes, yes, yes. So that is how the present papacy in Rome has come. Such important decisions, God, <laughs> why, why God could have directly spoke to Pope? <laughs> so this is the way of the Lord. He used simple people like us. Simple people like us. Having no big doctorate, St. Teresa of Lisieux is a doctor of the church. But she did not study theology. When Pope John Paul II declared her as the doctor of the church, in that document it is clearly written. Therese had no systematical theological studies. But yet, the doctor of the doctors taught her directly such a wisdom, which is a spirituality for the third millennium. Third millennium. I recommend if you have not read the biography of St. Therese, you must read it. The story of a soul. The story of a soul. So these are the two saints. I recommend you to make yourself very familiar the simple way they lived, the simple way they relate with Jesus, intimacy. What is important is the intimacy with the Lord. And St. Therese, recently Pope Francis has written another apostolic letter on St. Therese. The name of that letter is The Confidence. The Confidence. She has such a confidence in the forgiving love of Jesus, in the mercy of Jesus, you know, in YouTube, there is a, sorry, there is a series of videos, animation films, animation films. I am the producer, director of animation films called Jesus Wonder Animation. One sentence, Jesus Wonder Animations. If you search in the YouTube, you will find it. In that, I have made an animation film on St. Therese, how she prayed for a great triple murderer whose name was Prancini. Prancini. Prancini was a triple murderer and so in France it became such a terror that in one night he killed three people in a flat. And finally he was sentenced to death. So everybody was angry with him. Yes, he must be killed. He must go to hell. And the newspaper report came on he refuses to meet the people, Pope, sorry, meet the priests. He refuses to meet the priests. A priest used to come every day to him in the prison for a Confession. He said, go away. No God. I don't want to hear anything about God. You go. There is no God. 
he used to shout at him finally the priest tried to influence him <laughs> do you want a cigarette i give you a cigarette cigarette ah uh, okay okay give me cigarette <laughs> things like that but even though he never confessed so this became a news in france prancini is going to be hanged to death on so and so date but he is still not ready to meet a priest for a confession so there is with her papa and other sisters were going every day to the parish church in lisieu so near the church there was a shop so somebody was reading newspaper she overheard this prancini is going to be hanged on so and so day but he has not confessed hey right? so teres heard this news and she told to her sister selly selly you heard this man prancini it was read in the newspaper he is a triple murderer he is going to be hanged to death but he has not confessed so what will happen to his soul we must pray so at that time teres was only 14 years old or 14 and a half is written in her biography and teres so it's very interesting these are biographical i have studied the biography i was in her house where she lived i was in the church where she used to go for the holy mass there there the way of the cross scenes on the right side the last scene where jesus is crucified so she used to sit exactly there every day in the holy mass near the uh, last session where jesus was hanged along with the two thieves so she noticed always that jesus is telling to that good thief today you shall be with me in paradise so it is registered in her mind before she sit there she look at the station of the cross where jesus is saying today you shall be with me in paradise so she developed a confidence he is such a good thief jesus could grant him mercy such a thief if jesus could grant him mercy why not Prancini. So Teres began to cry. Teres took a crucifix in her hand, a crucifix in her hand, or crucifix in her table. She was holding on that crucifix and crying, crying. And she also told to Selin. gave some money from her pocket money she said selin please go to the parish priest and give this money and tell him urgently offer a holy mass for prancini <laughs> 14 year old girl <laughs> so selin said what are you talking prancini is still alive he is not dead but this is the time he needs more grace to repent not after death now you have to celebrate a mass for the conversion of prancini okay okay selin ran to the church to give this money and then she began to pray and in her biography it is written it is written this pope francis has quoted this her words i felt full confidence in the mercy 